Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Dicey Dungeons. We've had a good track record so far, um, but that, I mean, it's a really, it's, you shouldn't watch this episode, it's gonna be a disaster. Last episode was recorded before PAX, I was playing as the inventor, we won, and I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Today we're gonna play as the witch, I haven't played Dicey Dungeons in like six days, um, and we're gonna be doing, your first roll is always a six, the second of five, etc. Start with a bump blade. Seems really bad to begin with, but maybe we can work around it. I like the witch. The witch is wacky, but I like the witch. What was funny about being at PAX is, you know, you always ask people, what are you playing? What are you playing? Number one thing that people were playing? Dicey Dungeons. Oh, so we do start with a, a prepared spell on five and a prepared spell on, on six, which is fantastic. So Infliction is this. Okay, so this actually is not that bad. Um, I think we want to use Bump Blade almost like the way that you use Cauldron, except admittedly worse. So we would like to bump... Well, actually, I think we bump a four to a five, put Infliction in on the five, and then do three damage with it like that. Yeah, okay, I sort of get it. Everybody, well, not everybody, but so many people at PAX were talking about Dicey Dungeons. Hey, love the Dicey Dungeons series. Um, big fan of Dicey Dungeons, etc., etc. It's very flattering. Thank you. I don't mean to sound uh, ungrateful. I mean, I don't, I don't really understand how that would sound ungrateful to begin with. But, you know, I'm glad that people are enjoying it. And, and I'm glad on a different level that... You know, even people that have no idea who I am are like, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Dicey Dungeons. That game's pretty cool. I'll put this uh, magic missile on an odd, just to... Uh, I don't know how much it actually matters if, if you were to roll the dice a million times, but it just seems like the right thing to do. And plus, now we cover a little bit more of the spectrum here, right? So I think we always want to create a bump blade. And then I think it's okay to make an infliction as well. And we always want to, I mean, it depends. If we have lethal, we definitely want to do infliction. If we don't have lethal, we might want to bump blade, but I mean, that's something that remains to be seen. So we need to do 10 damage. A three and a two is five damage. Might surprise you. I guess we should always bump blade and then infliction. Might surprise you, but five damage is not 10 damage, but we made it work. Actually this, uh, okay, hold on. We prefer shock or burn? Most of the time, I prefer shock. So let's go burn. It'll be funny. This requires a minimum of a four to activate. Let's just dump that in on a... Let's dump it on a two, because we already have one of our low odds spoken for. Then you require an odd. I'll put you on our highest remaining even, but... Um, yeah. No, I, I, think I, I think I sort of got this one figured out. Whether or not we'll win... I have no idea, but for now, this this seems... It takes some of the uncertainty out of the witch, if that makes sense. Um, so do we need two bump blades? This might be a situation where we think to ourselves, we don't really need two bump blades. We can't get from a six to a, a one. That's the one problem with bump blade right now. So it's really, do you want a four to make a magic shield? Because we can't, there's no way we can go lower. You get new dice, but that's not... It's, isn't it the same value? Hold on, what if, what if we put a 5 in here? No, what if we put a... What if we put a 4 in here? You do reroll the dice, okay. Um, so let's bump blade uh, one more. The 5 became a 6. We could bump blade again. I think I'd rather just get some raw damage out there. Crystal ball, roll 3 extra dice. So the limit break doesn't change. Beautiful. That's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is, it's interesting to see... I'm so dumb. Get new dice, value plus one. It literally says on it, and I still got it wrong. Let's not speak about this. Okay, Burning Blade, if you put a four in there, it does damage and also burns a dice. We can turn our one into a two while also doing some damage, and then do more damage this way. Um, I really feel like, it, I mean, here's the thing. Is it because of Dicey Dungeons? No. What I'm about to say is not because of Dicey Dungeons. It might just be the bias of me actually noticing it more. Um, minimum four, so we definitely want a six there. But I saw so many uh, dice banking games. 
think I'm done. Uh, we saw so many dice banking games at PAX. You know, board games that basically use dice as a mechanic. You roll the dice, you manipulate the dice, you assign the dice to like a spot on a board or a spot on, you know, your HUD. And I was like, oh cool, I get this now. <laughs> I've seen cards for a hundred years, but finally, now I get, uh... I get the other side of it a little bit as well. So the only things you can do with your six, I mean, you could pop a six into an infliction, hot and fresh out the kitchen, which is not that bad. But then do we really care about magic shield? We can take a maximum of 11 damage per turn. That's not an insignificant amount, but when we kill you, we're gonna get the full HP. So it's probably not that relevant. I feel bad saying it, because I feel like it kind of highlights something about Dicey Dungeons that I'm... A lot of people have been saying, but I've been trying to minimize, which is that many of these middle episodes are a little bit on the easy side. And it's kind of once you suss out the once you suss out the main. Um, hold on, I will pay two for this. Once you suss out the uh, the main thrust of what you have to do to start teasing a part of victory. It's not that hard to do, but I'm also coming from Slay the Spire, where even if theoretically you knew what you were doing in, um... I think we will probably roll. Even if you knew what you were doing in Slay the Spire, you still ended up, uh... I clicked on the wrong thing! We still got him, I think. Three damage. Hold on. Three damage. Two dice. Two dice. Okay, there we go. Uh, even if you knew what you're doing, you kind of needed to, you needed to play very vigilantly, but you also needed to get maybe a little bit of luck as well. Um, I don't really... We don't have dice manipulation stuff, I think, so... Except Bump Blade, which is already prepared. So I think it's better for us to have uh, an upgraded slot. So I, I don't want to complain that the game is too easy, because it's been fun, but... I will say, there is a certain element of that that I've been feeling, and I think a lot of people have been feeling it. Let's get a shield going here. I know that means we can't do anything, but uh, shield versus sneezy is very important. If you're not going to level up after fighting him. I still love dicey dungeons. Sincerely. But... It's not a big but, and I cannot lie. But, it is a little bit on the easy side. It feels like it has, and it's a little early to say, but it feels like it has a little bit less longevity than, uh, than maybe some roguelites out there. But I can't say that with authority yet, necessarily. So I think as long as, I mean, the maximum amount of damage, oh, look at the dice we can throw. The maximum amount of damage we can take here is pretty low. We pretty much got him. This is, I, I, forgive me for being a little bit cocky here. We, uh, we're doing very well. The enemies are on the easy side right now. They will get harder, of course. Um, but, uh, we're, we're also missing a spell. We still have our one slot, uh, totally open. We can pop in something there. Hall of Mirrors. It is always nice to get more dice. That's undeniable. What I find with Hall of Mirrors a lot of the time is that it just doesn't seem worth it. It seems to me uh, that the game is balanced around, which makes sense, you having the amount of dice that you have when you make it to the final boss fight, which is usually five, I think. So having to pay more for dice, yes, it can get ridiculous, but it feels like you're like Bill Gates trying to create infinite money, and you're like, dude, Functionally, you, you got enough. You got enough already. Is this the time where we look at this and go, you know what? A nudge would be nice. But are we really gonna spend... I don't know. I'm willing to give it a shot just because it's weird. I am willing to spend the, the money. The question becomes, I don't need Hall of Mirrors, I think. I, I tend, I think Hall of Mirrors is overrated by new players, myself included, and I'm very hesitant to say no to it because I know it can get extremely overpowered, but I think most of the time it's not that necessary. Call me crazy. Still think we like Magic Shield. Dryad does more than poison. And again, this is kind of not a, a beautiful turn for us, but I'll live with it. I. I, I do, maybe we want to switch up our prepared spells a little bit. 
It would probably be better, like, Bump Blade's fine. It is free damage, as long as you don't mind what you get re-rolled into. Um, I think we prefer this. Um, but... Yeah, that's cool. Um, we would probably rather have Burning Light on our, on our prepared spot. That's okay. You're probably a couple turns away from lethal. So, six is a really good burning light get. Five works here, but... Is there anything else we'd rather... I don't think so. I think we'd rather just have this activated and then... We can hit you twice and just throw a dice at you. At some point, I should work out, like, the, the cognitive trick. I know that sounds overly hoity-toity, but it's just the most specific way I could think of to say it. There's some kind of flowchart or algorithm we can come up with, like, easily. Um, that should be able to tell us, like, the maximum damage output for us on a turn. I don't know if we need to roll, but I know we can roll. Let's see what our upgraded... Okay, so it does a little bit of extra damage. Let's see what our upgraded Bump Blade does. You just, you can use it two times. Okay. It's not bad. Um... And I don't know what that flowchart is for us now. It'd be very nice to know roughly what our maximum damage output is per turn, you know? If we drew, if we rolled the perfect dice. So Magic Spear needing a six. Actually, I know we didn't use Nudge at all. This would take up Burning Light as well, though. I mean, this seems very doable. Are we really willing to give up? What I would like to give up is, uh, is Magic Shield and Infliction. I'd rather give up Magic Missile and Infliction. But okay, so actually, I, I don't want to lose Bump Blade in this situation. So I think we should lose Magic Missile, Magic Shield? Did that work that way? I've never taken... Okay. Oh, it just... You need two threes to play it? That's insane! Um, so I think for now, we don't want a Bump Blade active. But our first six will probably... Eh, I don't really know. Hit me with a Burning Light, though. Without a bump blade, what are the odds that we don't get something? One in eight. It's just a quick shorthand. It's one in two to the three. That's the odds that we don't get something we can play with Burning Light right off the bat. So Nudge could help us get Magic Spear out there, which especially upgraded is probably worth quite a lot. Um, Bully does do physical damage. I'm glad we got to keep Magic Shield, so just toss this down here. Hit him for six, burn a dice. This will work for now. And I will say, for those of you out there who are like, eh, uh -huh, I bet he regrets not taking a Hall of Mirrors right now so we could have more dice and activate his kill condition. Well, you're absolutely right. That's it's one, literally 100% what I'm thinking right now. That would be amazing. Um, oh, this is a bad turn that is helping me learn a lot about the world in which we live. Um, I just wanted to see what happened there. Does that, does it take two on the same turn? Or is it like a counter you can, you can manipulate? It's a counter you can manipulate. Very interesting, okay. Anyway, we're just, we're subsisting entirely on raw damage at this point. We'll still outpace him on damage, especially if he has to take an extra four just to do one damage to us. Well, do three damage to us. Um, we could probably lethal him this turn. Then it requires a six though. Like, does 10 damage. I mean, we'll just throw the dice. Maybe we still do want to start with a bump blade? I'm undecided. And now I'm like, duplicated dice is so good. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually like, all right, get burning light out of here. Start me with the duplicate, because then that's basically like having one extra dice. But it has to duplicate something that has a minimum of four. Which means we can't really use it to get the Wombo Combo to get Magic Spear out there, but that's okay. Forget Glass Cauldron, I do not need you. I'm already messing with my run enough. I don't want to I don't want to make it any harder, okay? Forget that Fury attack, it requires a six. I can't... How many sixes? You think I made a sixes like, like Beelzebub? Absolutely not. Um, okay, do me a favor. Put the four out here. Dupa, dupa six, dupa, dupa, not nah, dupa five. Okay, because you're gonna use a five right here. I don't really like infliction. 
Yeah, we'd rather have a bump blade for dice manipulation reasons, I think. I'm gonna just throw that. We lose one damage out of it. Because bump blade plus thrown dice is, uh, is two damage. Okay, this is where the bump blade is immediately coming in handy. Unless we want magic spear. I, I do think we want Magic Spear out there, so I'm willing to do this. It, it takes a setup turn. We could have bump bladed the three into a four and duped it, and then, you know, time will tell if we would get more out of it after that, but more more value, I should say. So I, I'm going to hit you even though you got thorns. It doesn't bother me. So I think we'll dupe the... Might as well dupe a six, I guess. I don't know. It's a lot of damage, of course. And then... Uh, Shouldn't have done that, but I, I, something in my head was like, I bet you don't even get hurt when you, uh... You don't get hurt by the thorns when you throw the dice, even though I think I've literally said the opposite on, on myriad occasions. So we're rolling, we were hoping for sixes, is exactly what we got. I think we should dupe a, um, we should dupe a six for sure. Then you hit him for six, two thorns, life goes on. What do you do after that? Well, if there were a faster way to... I, I want to do six damage in as little attacks as possible. So you might think, well, I'll dupe the three, and then two threes is Magic Spear, put this out here. That does work, um, but, like, that's a lot of, you know, I get it, you're smart. You can also just hit him for six, which, you know, it's less processor cycles on the PC, you know, so it's a more efficient algorithm. A little less cool, though. Super Baby Squid. Why not? If we can't beat the Super Baby Squid, we're not gonna beat the run. We might as well start. get away with like like a dupe of four then make a magic shield here I know it's not quite as good but then make a bump blade on this spot you get two extra damage out of it you might as well put another bump blade out there it is dice manipulation one two three it's not really what you want to see. Um, but if we can get two threes... Okay, I'm like, there, there's something to this now. You get two threes, you put these out here. You bump this twice, and then you get a little shield. That's not really worth that much. You, you don't even hurt me, right? You just... Oh, no, you do hurt me. Okay. Okay, so you can do six damage. You can do ten damage. Oh, this is... You can't kill me next turn. But you can get pretty close. Okay, so we don't want a crystal ball just yet, I think. We'll dupe the six, just in case. Now we'll crystal ball. We are looking for this exact situation. So give me another three, three. We're gonna pop that right there. Hit him with another six. We wanna do six more damage. That's easy, actually. I would say this is one of the first times in, over the, the third episode uh, episodes. Where I've actually felt like we've had like a, a great run, especially as the witch, I actually feel like this is, and I'm not, I'm just not messing with the deck. That's my decision making process there. It's one of the first times as the witch in a while that I actually feel like we don't have any truly useless spells. We, we, I'm, I'm also an idiot, right? We totally roll in order every time. We go six, five, four, three, two, one, blah, blah, blah. Not even, not even paying attention. Probably don't need to worry as much about fixing our dice. But once we got off the ground, I think that, that did become a little bit less relevant, to be fair. So I think we're gonna want... I, I think duping the six is fine. And then you're gonna create a bump blade here, and you're gonna use a little magic shield here, and you uh, might as well put this here, and then what the heck are you doing? Well, we didn't really accomplish that much, did we? But one, five, four, three. So you got, you got everything but silence. You're gonna dodge an attack, which is fine, because we'll just use the bump blade. We do want two threes. So if anything, I understand. I'm mad, but I understand. It it's like a very magic-y thing, if that makes sense. Because of the fact that we didn't hit, we don't get the other effect on the equipment. 
which is something I should have thought about because I've seen it about a, you know a thousand times. But um, okay, do we care to play? Uh, ah! <laughs> do we care to place two dice to break silence? Not at not at this juncture. Okay, well it's a bit of a stalemate. Only it's that weird kind of stalemate that I'm sort of losing. Um, so not really a stalemate at all. It's just... I thought maybe that would get around the dodge. But like, I don't know what else you pop in here. Nothing. We can't really do anything but throw dice at you for now. Everything else, like, if we, if we use our bump blade, we just lose the dice anyway. This is just, uh... It's just frustrating. Um... So we don't mind putting a four in here. There's not much we could have done about that. I don't feel bad about that one. Get more bump blades going, dude. Why? I don't know, okay? Maybe they won't roll in even at one point. Really, we just need to be able to get a six every turn. If we can do that, nothing can stop us. So really, just sack a dice. We don't care about this. Get out of here. Then smack them. Bump this. It's a complicated turn. There we go. Not really. We got him. We... I hope we can heal after this. We took a lot of damage there. It was a very frustrating fight, honestly. I hate it when the bump blade is broken. Okay, so I think you go yoink, and then yeah, that's garbage. But then you go down here and oh, baby. At least we ended up hurting him a little bit. We could only do it because the slot was upgraded. We're silenced? I don't think that'll matter. It's just the weaken. The weaken is the only bad thing here. Okay, so... Oops. Just kidding. We need to heal after this, because we're one fight away. Yeah. And we can, thankfully. We have fire. Fire's good against snowman. If we live through this, everything's A-OK. -okay. Remember, fire's good against snowman. So you, you start... It's a good thing we basically know... How to take our first turn if we want to do it this way now it leads to us doing no damage but we get a good setup in my opinion freeze one dice doesn't matter like the ones are not great to be fair but they are useful there and now we kind of do like another setup turn in my opinion at least We, we do have a, a deck that's a little slow getting off the ground, though. And you could probably argue, maybe it would have been smart for us to create some fire there. That's a very reasonable take. I still think we're gonna be fine. That's three odds. You're doing eight damage to me total? You're gonna give me my crystal ball, you fool. It's just that easy. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little scary. Okay. I love the six. Thank you. Um, should turn this into a two, I think. Then use the two with a little burning light. Um, let's just go ahead and hit you for five on that one. And you got seven left. Let's dupe the four. Now, now we're talking. Okay. Put a one in here. Put a two back out on burning light. That'll get him. That'll get him. Now we're thinking with spells, dude. I'll take a, a second upgraded slot. But I do think we, we should change our propelled... Or our prepared uh, slot. I don't think it's doing anything for us. It's not doing enough, in my opinion. Do one damage, get an odd dice. Is, is almost a nicer bump blade, as ridiculous as that might sound... Because of the fact that it can create threes for Magic Spear. But I don't really want... You, we'll lose Infliction, which we're doing nothing with right now. And then let's go Spellbook. So I think we'd... Instead of Duplicate, although that does give us an extra dice on turn one. That's a good point. And now we'll have a silver cauldron to use it with. So I think just having that might change the meta enough that we, we feel a little bit more solid. So now we would duplicate probably still a six. 
and we would then create a silver cauldron. It gets two uses. Let's try to get an odd dice. A three is exactly what we want. We did make a mistake. We shouldn't have put our sixes in there, because if we got two threes, we'd want a six available. But um, one is duplicate. I don't mind it, because we can get a second four out there. This is okay. I don't think you're gonna hit me that hard on turn one. I'd rather get Magic Spear ready to go. Let's see how this looks. You're gonna hit like a son of a gun. <laughs> I was very wrong. We're cursed. Curse plus nothing else is not that bad, actually. That's, that's relatively okay. So, um, do me a favor. Give me an odd dice. And then do it again. Honestly, I, I think it just goes there. Curse had no impact there, which is very nice. Let's see what happens now. We're going to get cursed. And then... We're going to get hit for four, which is zero. She's starting to scale a little bit, though. You got to be careful. Let's try to dupe the four. We got cursed. Not a problem. Hit for six. Do two damage. We know we're getting a nod. We get our shield back. And now it's feeding in. You get the even. You put it in the cauldron. You do the damage. You get an odd. You put it in the shield. It's just that easy. We took one damage. We got one curse. Not a problem. Um, the, you kind of get screwed in this situation. Because I'm like, man, we can't bump blade anything. So I think... Uh, let's fish for... That's fine. I'll just... Can't even put that. So that, it's not really fine. That was actually pretty terrible. But two odds, huh? So we're gonna have two curse, five damage. That's ruthless. It's only one damage. The curse is really bad. We desperately need more dice. And trust me, the irony is not lost on me. That's fine. Thank you. Very much thank you for the. You didn't catch me on the two bad curses, which I really appreciate. We're cursed. Hit for five. It's the first real damage you've taken in a bit. Give me a five. That's beautiful. Ah! <laughs> Do we want more odd dice? Well, we, we like the shield, honestly. Might as well hit for something. And we're not getting hurt nearly as badly as Crystalina's getting hurt. That being said... Yikes. Uh, it's not looking amazing, like, long term. Okay, so this is what you... You just hope... That doesn't happen. That'll work. I do think we healed a full here, so I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not sweating it. Oh no, we just healed the full. That's quite the opposite. That's not even close to what I thought was going to happen there. Okay, but we start with the crystal ball, which is obviously very good. We roll, we get we get the whole gamut. What do you do with the gamut? I think it's pretty easy. Let's go bump blade, bump the two. Use two threes to make a sweet magic spear that does 14 freaking damage. Create a six out of that. Let's dupe these fours. Let's make a one. Let's try what happens here. Ah, uh, you just get no restriction. Now we got a bunch of freaking fours. You can't really do anything with those. Might as well make a magic shield. Not my finest turn, but we got great setup and we did good damage. Okay, so we're gonna get two weakness and uh, we might be on the hook for 12 damage next turn. Yeah, I would say it's probably likely. Two weakness is pretty bad. Dupe and magic shield. That's what you wanna see. So we'll dupe the six, which is really lucky. Um, might as well just play the five. I think we dupe... Well, it doesn't really matter. You might as well dupe the six. And then, like, make another bump blade. You can at least use it... A few times. I'm not saying it turned out that well, but we're just trying to milk whatever damage we can. Okay, so you're definitely gonna hit me for 12. That's a nasty outcome here. We should be able to kill you. This is terrible now. Maybe we won't be able to... I think we roll again. I hate to say it, but I, I think we do. Um, so I, you still do that. You 
just follow it up with one of those. Okay. Okay. We're still in it. We're still hip. We're still with it. I'm not worried about having my first loss in Dicey Dungeons in the last, uh... Well, I don't know. When was the last time we lost in Dicey Dungeons? Like, the second time we lost as the Witch? It's been a while. Do you still... I, I think you dupe a five at this point. You know why? Because that allows us, for sure, to get a good magic shield sort of thing going on. Then we can choose. We got a three. I honestly think you just put it in there to enable yourself. One, four, five. So you're going to do eight. And then you're about to do five damage and lock a dice. Freeze is better against you. But I don't have any freeze. Sorry, I don't know why it took so long there. Um, it's kind of what I was hoping for there, to be honest. We should probably have duplicated a five, I guess. The problem with what we have going on right now is that, like, you don't really get uh, much out of what I'm doing here. We need the sixes. So our second turn is, like, is pretty bad most of the time. It would be nice to figure something else out about that. And now this is a real problem because we need a bump blade, which we actually cannot do. So instead we just roll a bunch of garbage. Um, let's do up the five. I think this is where we're going to get a little... We're going we're gonna to change trajectory. We still want to keep this around, I think. And... Uh, I mean, let's just keep... Let's roll with Silver Cauldron. Gives us two threes. Actually, probably worth getting out there. Maybe instead of a duplicate because... Well, next turn we are going to roll a six, so that's, that's worth noting. If we could get a one to dupe it, okay, now I'm like, I'm I'm playing very badly. I'm, I'm shuffling around in my chair, I'm getting annoyed with myself. Yeah, we could have really used the duplicate on this turn. Could we still get a duplicate? Yes. If you take your four, turn it into a one. If you take your five. If you turn it into a one. I mean, you gotta admit, we tried on that one. We should have, in hindsight, put a 5 here, but how was I to know? 3, 5, 1. Well, it's bad. Sorry, my garbage can's getting in the way here. So we know we're gonna roll 6s. I think we have to use Crystal Ball. I don't think we could get to 11 damage without it, but I could be wrong. Oh, dude, we're definitely gonna die. I mean, I can't just fight the boss. We have to fight the gargoyle. But I think I think I'm dead. He's got two dice. Look, it's gonna be tight. Let's put it that way. So I think if, we, if we're gonna kill him, we let, let's put it this way. I think we'd really like to get a magic shield out there. What do we dupe? Let's dupe the four. Get magic shield out there. Forget Silver Cauldron for now. Get a Bump Blade out there. Now do you want Silver Cauldron? Next turn we're going to roll 3, 2, 1. If we want to use a... Magic Shield. Why not get one more Bump Blade out there? And I just beg... 2 is the perfect roll, thank you. 5 sucks, low. Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> Life is but a dream. Okay. So we do love our threes. I want that to be well known. We'd also like to get more shield, though. So, though I know you're like me, maybe make a duplicate. I don't disagree. I think this goes here. And then you get these magic spears. And you toss them uh, right on top of this one. Because I think we got to kill them fast. Please don't lock my dice. Two, four. Four is the only dangerous one. That's bad. You take one. That's perfect. You never want to see him hit one. One is the terrible roll for us. So we love 14 damage. Let's dupe the five for a second and put a five into Bump Blade. Mm. I don't think it matters that much. Put a four into Bump Blade, five into Magic Shield. Obviously, we want more Magic Shields, but next turn, we don't need Duplicate. We need a lot of Bump. Four shield. Three is not a good roll. One is a terrible roll. 
Okay. We will have two lock dice. And no limit break. That's a real issue. We pretty much have to... Like, we'll do what we can. And that's what we can do. We need the shield, though. Five is not horrible, necessarily. That's great. That's not great, but it's not as bad as it could be. Oh, but it locked the six. Okay, that's fine, because we have a bump blade. We have to do this. And you're going to give me an odd. That odd is going to protect me. Two on the first roll is amazing. That's bad. That's... It's fine, but we do need to find a way to deal eight damage to you. <laughs> and I don't know if that's possible. Um, but I'll tell you. Um, let's, let's start working it through. I think you definitely put the two into the silver cauldron. You're hoping for a higher roll than that. Well, you definitely apply shield, bump, throw a dice. I think you hope for the best at this point. A, a two on one roll is incredible. He's done it. I think we're going to make it. We need to do five damage. Why not? Okay, my brain got broken there for a second. You just bump the five. Okay. We're alive. Um, you feel like we could make better use of a prepared spell slot at this point? I kind of feel like we've been... I feel like we could. We don't... Well, two dupes is two extra dice. Can you... You can just put a magic spear on one of them? I mean, then we don't need the, the threes. But I would you rather... Dupe on turn one is really good. And actually, you know what? I actually love the double dupe on turn one. You know why? Because it, it allows us... We know we're going to have a five. It allows us to easily get um, Silver Cauldron and possibly take our two extra dice we get created on any turn where we get a five. Turn it into an early um, magic spear. Immune to freeze, not a problem. As we've complained about many times, we have no freeze, so we got nothing to worry about. Um, so you burn, you burn and repeat. It would be nice to, to shock you, I guess, but... Okay, so I don't mind duping a five here. I think that's totally okay. And let's dupe a six just in case the unthinkable happens. And we end up getting... Well, again, you might as well dupe. And then you're trying to get two threes. We got one three. You don't need this many duplicates, obviously. That's just insane. Um, I don't think that was a great setup turn. I think things kind of turned out poorly. So we really want you to roll as few evens as possible. The burn is not that bad yet, but it, that could change. So you super want to uh, take this, go there. I know that that was a three, so that it seems like what are you doing? But there's there's a method to my madness here. Let's dupe a five again. Why dupe a five? Because it allows us to get two threes. Okay, so that second three, I guess we didn't need a second three in high sub. You toss it in there. Now, dupe this. There you go. You got Magic Spear. Okay, what happens next? We need another three. So you put a four in here. It's not that good. You get a Silver Cauldron. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's, let's dupe again. Just toss a five in there. I don't know if this even matters. Now we got two extra threes. What do you do with that? Well, just give me a second. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go three, three. You're going to toss it here because it does more damage. And there you go. Okay. What do you do with two fives? I think you don't mind... We only have three dice, so next turn we're getting three, two, one. I think you go Silver Cauldron, smack, throw. Next turn will suck, probably. The burns are they're, they're gonna get a little out of control. I mean, this is a horrible turn for us. But we got Crystal Ball, which is unbelievably good. Okay, so you really wanna dupe a six. Are you dead? Did we win? Okay, well, that's a real surprise. I thought we were in for a world of hurt. Things were getting a little spotty there, but uh, 
as usual. You know, we, we got lucky and we, we planned accordingly for, you know, we built an algorithm and the algorithm worked and we hit the skull as we always do. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back as the Jester. If you liked it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Enjoy some dicey dungeons yourself. And we'll see you next time. See ya.